we are looking at a teaching video differentiation using the chain rule the chain rule is a very useful rule and you find that as you go through this whole course of differentiation there'll be many times we rely on it take a very simple function here y equals u to the power of n where u is the function of x now this is almost like your shortcut to the chain rule now just just follow the step it's very mechanical well the index is n so you write it here n then multiply to whatever you see here u to the power of n u to the power of n but you reduce the index by 1 next you multiply 2 because u is a function of x so you will have to differentiate u with respect to x now once more you have the index n it will become the multiplier multiply to whatever you have there u to the power of n but the index you reduce by 1 then multiply 2 because u is in terms of x or as a function of x then you will have to differentiate u with respect to x hence the symbol here the u over the x When you are not given a function like in the previous case y equals u to the power of n but now you are merely given an algebraic expression so this is an expression if you consider the whole part here then it's a function or an equation so because the expression is given the way you write this should not be dy over dx that must be cut off so the actual uh, symbol would be this d over dx the square bracket whatever expression you need to differentiate which is your u to the power of n here you follow the same idea n the index you write first multiply to u to the power of n just as it is but reduce the power by 1 then followed by the differentiation of u which is a function of x so du over dx so you can see there's no difference in the expression over here except only in the symbol how you write it in the previous case dy over dx because you're given the whole equation for the expression you just d over dx which is to say differentiate the bracketed item with respect to x here we have another way to write it this arrangement of y equals u to the power of n you can actually form a very simple chain rule equation which is dy and here dx if you have another symbol like u here which is a function of x then you will consider the du 
over here du. Now, this is, these are symbols of differentiation. You are not supposed to do cancellation and you can't. You take the symbol as a whole. It cannot be split up, but for how we form the chain rule equation, you take this, drop it here, take this, drop here, in between whatever functions you have. Supposing I have y equals w to the power of n, and I tell you that w is actually a function of x, then that will not be du anymore, it will be du, and here dw. So that will change according to the expressions you are given. So we have gone through a little bit on the symbols, but for the application of chain rule, what sort of questions would you expect? So whenever you get questions like this, sine bracket 2x plus 1 to the power of 3, that will require you to use chain rule. Reason is this. If you take this as u, then we are back to the same situation where you have the y equals u to the power of 3, where 3 corresponds to the n here. So that actually requires the use of uh, the chain rule. Or you can have cases like this, You can see this 3x here is taken as a u. So you can have y equals sine u. So the chain rule can also be applied here. So whenever you get an expression to differentiate, think in terms of y equals u to the power of n. Can you let something be u? If you can, then and, and it's in this format, you can use the chain rule. So for this section, that's all.